Let's see a problem to determine rate law and rate constant. The following results have been obtained during the kinetic studies of the reaction that is 2A plus 2B gives C plus D. He given this table what he studied on this reaction and he has determined the rate law and rate constant for the reaction he conducting the experiment on this reaction and uh, result of that experiment he given in the form of table these are the experiment, num experiment number experiment 1, 2, 3, 4 and these are the concentration of reactant A and these are concentration of reactant B and uh, these are initial rate of formation of product D that is rate of the reaction Pro rate of formation of D is equal to rate of the reaction now see let's understand this table at experiment 1 he took concentration of A as 0 0.1 B as 0 0.1 and he found rate initial rate as 6.0 into 10 to the power minus 3 similarly in the second experiment he took concentration of A as 0 0.3 and concentration of B as 0 0.2 then he found initial rate as 7.2 into 10 to the power minus 2 similarly he conducted the experiment 3 and 4 from this table we have to find rate law and rate constant so given this reaction what you have to find rate law and rate constant to find rate con rate law see rate law is you can write like this you know that rate rate equal to rate constant into concentration of a to the power x into concentration of p to the power y here x is order with respect to a and b y is order with respect to b now if you, uh, in order to find the uh, rate law we have to find rate constant x and y so see how to find these two from this table uh, you have to find either x or y by looking at the experimental data see for that see two experiment where concentration of one of the reactant is same see here in experiment 2 and experiment 3 concentration of the reactant 0 0.3 and concentration of the reactant a is 0 0.3 and 0 0.3 in both uh, these two experiments concentration of A is he kept as same that is 0 0.3 and 0 0.3 but, but he varied the concentration of B that is 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 see in experiment 2 and 3 he kept concentration of A constant he varied the concentration of B that is 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 now see how much uh, uh, concentration of B is increased concentration of B is increased two times 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 means concentration of B is increased two times now you are keeping concentration of A constant and uh, increasing the concentration of B two times then rate will increases with respect to B only because you are keeping A constant so rate will increase with respect to B only see how much rate is increasing rate is increasing from 7.2 into 10 to the power minus 2 to 2.88 into 10 to the power minus 1 see at how much rate is increased at what extent it is increased to find that one you divide this by this so 2.88 into 10 to the power minus 1 by 1.72 into 10 to the power minus 2 when you divide this you will get 4 so what 
and we increase the concentration of B two times by keeping concentration of A constant. Rate is increased four times. Rate is increased four times. See, for a second order reaction, you know that when you increase the concentration of the reactant two times, rate will increase is four times. See here, uh, this is second order reaction because see order is two. When you increase the concentration of A two times, two to the power two. See, rate will increases four times. So now, 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 what you, what will you conclude now? See here also rate is increasing four times. So what you conclude now? Order with respect to B is second order reaction. That is two. You are keeping concentration A same and increasing concentration two times. So rate is increasing four times. So order with respect to B is So that is in my rate law. Uh, that is y is two. Now you have to find uh, order with respect to a. Order with respect to a. Actually, we can find order with respect to a by calculation method. But uh, let's to calculate uh, order with respect to A also by this looking at the table only. Let's see in this table where the let's see in this table where the constant in two experiment where the concentration of one of the reactant is same. We have seen already this 0 0.3, 0 0.3. See here. In experiment one, zero point one, and in experiment four, zero point four, zero point one. That is concentration of B is same here in experiment one and experiment four. But concentration of A is zero point one to zero point four. See, concentration of A is increasing from zero point one to zero point four. You are key uh, the. Concentration of B is same, 0.1 and 0.1. See, concentration of B is same. Concentration of A is increasing from 0.1 to 0.4. That is four times. Concentration of A is increasing four times. See how much uh, rate will increase. Now rate will increase with respect to A only because concentration of A is only varying. Concentration of B is kept constant. See how much rate will increase. Rate is increasing from 6.0 into 10 to the power minus 3 to 2.40 into 10 to the power minus 2. How much rate is increased when you increase the concentration of A four times and concentration of B is kept constant? For that, you divide this 2.40 into 10 to the power minus 2 by 6.0 into 10 to the power minus 3. You divide, you will get 4. See, when you increase the concentration of A four times, rate is increasing four times, keeping concentration of B as constant. This means what? See, for first order reaction, when you increase, this is first order reaction, order is one. When you increase the concentration four times, so rate will increase four times. For first order reaction, when you increase the concentration four times, rate will increase four times. So, what you now conclude? Now, rate is uh, order with respect to A. The order with respect to A is one. That is first order reaction. See, don't confuse. Here, when you uh, when concentration is Doubled rate is increasing four times. The, so that is second that is second order reaction. Second order with respect to B. But here in this case r concentration is increasing four times, then rate is also increasing four times. So it is first order reaction. Now you can conclude. 
order with respect to a is 2 I have written wrong here it has to become a order with respect to a is 2 now we have find out order with respect to a and order with respect to b to find rate law what you required now you required rate constant let's see how to find it for that consider this rate law rate equal to k into concentration of a to the power x into concentration of b to the power y in this you know x you know y that is order with respect to b and order with respect to a and uh, you don't know k value so for that consider any one experiment for that i have taken fourth experiment take this fourth experiment reading fill concentration of a that is 0 0.4 and concentration of b that is 0 0.1 and uh, rate is 2.40 into 10 to the power minus 2 take this 2.40 into 10 to the power minus 2 and simultaneously simplify keep this k as it is 0 0.4 to the power 1 is 0 0.4 and 0 0.1 to the power 2 is 0 0.01 now try to find out k k equal to take this whole term this side that is 2.40 into 10 to the power minus 2 divided by 0 0.4 into 0 0.01 when you simplify this one you will get k as 6 so rate constant k equal to 6 mole to the power minus 2 l square for minute why this mole to the power l square for minute unit this is because this is third order reaction this reaction is third order reaction 2 plus 1 is third, 3 so this is third order reaction for third order reaction unit of rate constant is mole to the power minus 2 l square per minute since uh, since time is given in minute so it will become per minute now you find out value of k and x and y now you can find easily right law right law is k into a to the power 1 into a to the power 2 concentration fill here k i, I missed so fill this k equal to 6 will this k equal to 6 so what is rate law rate law equal to 6 into concentration of a to the power 1 into concentration of b to the power 2 that's it the, this problem thank you